serve an awesome God and God doing great things within all of us life. Yeah. One thing about God, he doesn't leave anybody out. Hallelujah. Because God is good because God is the God that loves everybody. He don't love some of us. He loves all of us. Hallelujah. God doesn't have no respect of a person. I don't care what it seems like, what it looks like. God is there. He is all around. Hallelujah. Oh, God is good. Know this. He got his hands on you. Hallelujah. He got his hands on you. Oh, what a God that no matter what we do, what we go through, if you got a calling on your life, or you've been chosen by God, hallelujah, God got his hands on you, and the devil cannot destroy you. Hallelujah. Oh, God is good. And he worthy. He's a worthy God to be praised today. Hallelujah. We got to know that. That he is so worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. And I love it. And all of us should love him today. Love on him. Hallelujah. Because he loves us. In spite of, in spite of what we do. Hallelujah. And I just thank God that he y'all may be seated in the presence of the Lord because his glory is here in this place. Hallelujah. I thank God for taking us down to the spirit of Pentecost. And I thank God that how he worked in our life down there, how that people got healed and delivered. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's, it, it, it's good that we go and get fed ourselves because a lot of times that we get empty and we need to be fed. Just sit down and feast of the word of God. Hallelujah. So we can come back. Hallelujah. And feed y'all. Oh, God is good. Hallelujah. I got a double potion at this. I tell you what, I see the heaven open up. Ah, God be the glory. Hallelujah. I felt that, oh, whatever it is that God did for me, I, when I went there, I went to expect something from the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I went there expecting and I said, Lord, I'm here. And I said, whatever it is, I want you to fill me with it. Hallelujah. So I can take it back. Oh, my God, to your children. Hallelujah. Oh, God is good. And God did that thing. I seen the heaven. Oh, oh, shut on I say. I seen the heaven open up. And I seen brimstones of fire coming down. Oh, God. God is good. God is getting ready. He is getting ready to do what he say he going to do for his peoples in this end time. Hallelujah. We got to make ourselves available to do the will of God. What God have caused, what God have chosen you to do in this end time, God is moving. Hallelujah. And I thank God today for all of you all. And love all of you all. Hallelujah. You got to have that God pay love for to love. You got to let God teach you how to love. How to know who his people are. You got to let God do that. You can't do it. God have to do it. You can't do it. You can't, you can't fix yourself up. You mess yourself up. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, as I come before you right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, asking in your son Jesus' name, give you all the praise and all the glory today, and thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, I can't thank you enough. Lord, I repent before you. If there's anything in my heart that is not like you, I ask you to move it right now. In the name of Jesus, clear the pathway today. Make the way straight today. In the name of Jesus, Father, decrease my natural man in it, three. Give me a double portion today, God. And thank you for another opportunity today to stand before your people and teach your word today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, Holy Spirit, have your way in me today. In the mighty name of Jesus. All right, I'm going to go to Jeremiah. So, Minister Shirley is my reader today. Thank God for her today. In the name of Jesus. I thank God for all of you all today. God is doing such a magnificent thing. He's moving. 
Hallelujah. And I'm going to come from Jeremiah 17 chapter. And I'm going to, she's going to start at the 12th verse and she's going to end at the 17th verse. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, Jeremiah, the 17th chapter, going to start at the 12th verse. And she's going to end at the 17th verse. Hallelujah. You ready, Minister Shirley? Yes, ma'am, I am. All right. Let us read. It reads, A glorious high throne from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. The glory of what? High throne. From the, a glory high of high throne. high throne is from the beginning in the place of our sanctuary. In our sanctuary. Oh, God, be the glory. Our sanctuary. Ooh, okay, the sanctuary of God. Hallelujah. We are the church. And we are the sanctuary. Oh, God, be the glory. The glory of God. God shows up. And his glory shows up. When we praise him and when we worship God, we all on one accord. Hallelujah. All right, Minister Shirley. 13 reads, O Lord, the hope of Israel, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed. And they that depart from me shall be written in the earth, because they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living waters. They have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living water. You know that when you when you think about it, the Israel, like the children of Israel, hallelujah, when they depart, when God brought them out of Egypt, and you know, we 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 some of us like this, and some of us we hold on to what God do. And just like Joshua, he held on all that torment that he went through, but he went on. Uh, with uh Lord didn't come on Holy Ghost. But I come back to it. But anyway, he had he had Pharaoh, thank you, Jesus. All that what Pharaoh had done and that uh he held on. But when God departed the Red Sea and took them out, took brought them out of bondage, all right? And they seen the, they seen when God parted the sea. Oh my God, he brought them out of bondage, y'all. This is what I'm talking about when God bring you out of something. Hallelujah. He didn't have to do it, but he heard them cry. He heard them groaning and moaning. And just like us, when we be in a situation, we cry out to God, and God hears our cry. Hallelujah. We cry, we moan, we groan, we do all of this here. But when God bring us out of a situation, oh God be the glory today. He set us free. Yeah. He bring us out of bondage. And when he bring us out of bondage, we must obey. Not disobey. Obey. Obey him. Hallelujah. But Joshua he stood at the foot of the mountain while the other were party doing all this. How can you forget a God like him? What he done for you. But he stood at the mountain. He waited on Moses. Hallelujah. He watched for Moses. When his own brother Aaron turned against him. Woo! God be the glory. So that this is what I'm saying. He for safety shall be ashamed. And they that depart from him, depart from me, shall be ridden in the earth. Because they have forsaken the Lord. They have forsaken God. So it is written here in earth. Whatever we do, whatever we do here in earth, don't you know that he writes it down? Everything that we do. 
God write it down. He writes it down. Everything that we do, as we speak to somebody, he write it down. Whatever this come out your mouth, whatever this tongue say, he writes it down. Ain't he a mighty power for God? Hallelujah. Ain't he powerful? Oh my God. He write it, he write it down. And 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 he said, the Lord, the fountain of the living water. How can you say you forsake God? I'm talking about the word of God that keep us living. If we don't have the word of God, we cannot live. We cannot live. If we don't have the word of God, which in us, keep coming to that fountain. Breaking that water, that living water, that living water is the word of God. Yes, Come on, keep staying in that Bible. Yes. Keep meditating up on that word. That's what keeps us alive. That's what keeps us strong yes. in the Lord. Hallelujah. When some come up, we know they had to come up out of here yes. and quote that scripture and tell the devil what does say the Lord. Yes. Whoa, God is good. But we got to keep it within us. We got to meditate on it. We got to be like David. We got to meditate on it day and night. We got to feast off in that word. And that came that time that we really got to get in the word because it's going to come a time, cheerers of God, we ain't going to have this. We're going to have to know that word. That word gonna have to be grounded and rooted in us. Oh, God is good. Hallelujah. 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. Look what he say. Heal me, O Lord. Heal me, O Lord. And I shall. I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For there are my praise. Oh God. When he heal you, when he save you, you got to worship God. You got to give him the praise. Cause he the one did it. I praise him every day for my healing. When you look at others, when you heal about what other have and you look and, and, and come on here now come on and then it is a flashback to you that could have been me oh God he saved me in a time that he know that I was going to obey him and do his will see God has a purpose for us and he have a set time to bring you in all we got to do Ministers and evangelists pray. Keep God's people in prayer. Tell God to keep their mind, their spirit, soul up before them. Plead for their soul. And God will save them. He got to have somebody here in the earth realm to stand in the gap as Jesus stands in the gap for us. To pray. You don't give up on nothing that God has. Bless you with it. Encourage you with it. Oh, he'll never be nothing. I think you're lying about that. You don't know God. Everybody is somebody in God. Everybody, because everything that God made, it was good and it wasn't bad. Come on, there's some good in everybody. Because that there was no good, God would have created you. Satan was good until he disobeyed God. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh! Till he disobeyed God. Lucifer. Uh, yeah, yeah. Come on here. God created him. Yes. Come on here. But everything he made, it was good until he disobeyed God. Uh, mm. Jesus. That's the reason that he have to go to God. He have to bow and ask God, could I trust Brother Jeffrey? He got to get that permission from God to do anything. Now God letting us know today, just as clear we stand here breathing off the breath of God that Satan doesn't have what? 
He don't have no power. He, we have the power, but we lie him to do the things to us. Come on, we lie him. Come on here to make us double-minded. We don't have to be these things because we are cheering of God and we have the word of God. That way he say, take up this cross. Learn of me. Where is your ground? Come on here. When we learn in the Bible to do right, let us do right. Because we have every error in our life, God got to clean. He got to gut us and he got to clean us. He'll clean that arrow, all right? He'll seal it off. Hey, come on here. He'll come over here to this arrow. You ask him, he'll clean that arrow. He'll seal it off. Come on. See, it's a lot of work have to, listen. It's a lot of work have to be done within all our life. Hallelujah. Only God can raise you up overnight, but he's still cleaning you. Oh God, thank you Jesus. No man, no man is perfect. We got to get there. So don't look down on yourself because we make an error. That's what's forgiven for. We ask God to forgive us. Help me Father not to make this error no more. I don't want to keep making the same old mistake over and over and over again. Help me not to do it. Help me, with Lord, when you see me going that way, turn me around. He'll do it. He'll do it. God will do it. Hallelujah, he will do it. That's reason. Save me, O oh Lord, that I can be saved. Hear me so I can praise and worship you. Don't stop. Don't stop doing it. Don't stop worshiping God. Amen. Worship. Worship him in truth. Worship the Lord. Don't stop. Because what God has in store for all of us is a blessing. When God saved you and I, he saved you for a reason and a purpose. Amen. Now you wonder what that purpose is. He saved you and cleaned you up for the Lord there to get the lost. To get the lost. Hallelujah. Oh God, be the glory. He saved you. To, he, what, what, what he did was that he cleaned you up. He saved you. And see, there is somebody out there. It's just that one person. Wait, no, you brought Jeff. To bring him or her the word. Oh my God. The brain that sat that way. But God say that when I get through, when I get through doing it, putting this word off in him, this might kill the word off in him so I can. So when I he speak, the word is going to fall. God works just like a magna. It's yeah. gross. You. Yes, yes. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. God is good. All right. Verse 16. Yeah, oh, okay. Thank you, baby. Behold, they say unto me, Where is the word of the Lord? Let it come down. Behold, they say unto me, Where is the word of God? Let it come to me now. Hallelujah. Behold, where is the word of God? Hallelujah. Faith come by hearing what? The word. the word. If you got faith, if you got faith in God, you go what? Hear the word. Amen. You go hear the word. You're going to hear what God's saying. Because his word is God. And God is God speaks to us through his word. What is the word of God? Hallelujah. What is the word of God? The word, what is the word of God? God is the word. Where is God? Where is God? The word of God, God can hide that word in our heart. Oh, God is good. The hidden word of God. The mystery of God. 
what it where behold they say unto me where is the word of the Lord let it come now you got faith you want to be saved it will come now hallelujah Amen. all you got to do confess with your mouth mm -hmm. and just believe that Jesus Christ risen on the third day it's the word of God and you shall be saved come on here yeah. it will come to you you meditate on the word of God you can be up here you can be ministering and whatever God will give you a right now word speak it instant in season and out of season all right now I can go to verse 16 it reads as for me, I have not hastened from being a pastor to follow thee. Uh-oh. I have not hasted to be a pastor. This is what Jeremiah, this is what Jeremiah said at all. I have not hasted to be a pastor to follow thee. See, the pastor got to follow the word of God. The pastor got to follow Jesus Christ. If I'm not following Jesus, y'all don't need to follow me. Huh? If I'm not following and doing the word of God and doing the will of God, you don't, don't you follow me. Because if you see me doing anything that you know, that you know, you know. Get to know who your pastor is. Know something about your pastor. Learn about your pastor, who your pastor is. All right? Don't follow something you don't know. Follow something that you know. That if the pastor know the Lord and have not shown you any stripes or anything, come on, yeah. Follow. As he follow Christ. Hi, God. He's good. Hi, that is again. Follow the Father, I'm going to follow Christ. Hallelujah. I'm going to do what does say the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm not going to hesitate to follow him when I know what he doing for me and within me. And I, I have not would have known these things if I would not have stayed before him. See, we got to put ourselves there so that God can make us. You know, we got to make ourselves available. Lord, here I am. You make me. I belongs to you. You make me. You mold me. You shape me. You design me the way you want me to be. Grass me, oh Lord. I can't grass myself. I don't want to go out the way and take nothing from you. You bless me the way you want me to be. He'll do it. He'll do it. He'll do it. I used to see those people when they come, when I first came in the ministry. Thank God I've been in the ministry 14 years now, and I give God the praise and the glory. When I first went to Baton Rouge and uh, and uh, and I see these people, child, with oh my God, they had so much of bling bling on, it would blind you. You couldn't, you couldn't even look, it was just shining after all this right here. Hallelujah. And I'm saying this to get to this. That uh, when I seen all that, so I thought that this is it, you know, that this is, you know. And so that God. So they would divine me this, buy me that stuff. God said, this is not you. I didn't choose you to wear this. He said, I'm going to dress you. Huh? See, you have to position yourself in order for God to do this. Don't say, oh, it grips me. No, I'm going to be like them. I'm going to wear this bling, bling, bling so I can blind them too. Take out, you know what I'm saying? They looking all this gold and all of this right here. Ain't, 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 ain't paying nothing so sure what God is saying. Now they got their eyes focused, focused on you, what you got on. 
Don't take away and don't add. You see what I'm saying? They interesting you, Minister Frank, with that suit you got on. Oh, man. And while you up there, man, ooh, I wish I had that. Ooh, I wish I had that suit. Oh, when I get to, I'm going to ask her for it. I'm going to ask him for it. Now, you got your mind on this suit and what this woman wearing and what this man wearing. Still I have your mind on the word of God. You know what I'm saying? So God said, I aggress you. You see, I'm a regular. You see what I'm saying? I'm a regular. And so when I used to see all those folks, and now, Minister Shirley, when you go there, they regular. <laughs> you don't see all this bling, 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 and clink, clink, clink. You don't see all of that. Now you see them. Regular. You all, oh, I remember one. Honey, she'll come in there and walk like a, have a hat on like a football state. That's the way she walked. Turn her nose to her Yes, yes, now I see her. She left WLCM, but now she not came back. Now that's, that's the one they bought in there sitting in the chair. I said, look at him. Wouldn't even speak to you, Sister Shirley, a lot of But now, how you doing, Pastor Haywood? How you do? Oh my God, look at that anointing up on you. You're not getting my anointing. <laughs> I'm protecting it from you. And, and I look at, I just said, Lord, look, Lord, look what God, look what a mighty God we serve. You go up there, he bring you back. And you be the, they meant you going up, they meant you coming down. Huh? So now they're down to where God wants them to be. Humble. 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 They wouldn't speak to you. Woo, they'll turn their nose up at you. You ain't nothing. But look at them now. Man, I said, Lord, you is awesome. I said, wow. My God. Don't get beside yourself that he bless you with a 2014, bless you with a manger. Stay humble. Stay humble, you know. Love the same people that you are around right now. Don't turn your nose up at them like they ain't nobody. Don't do that. God tests us to see. He'll bless us. When I bless you with a million dollars, see if you're going to be the same. Is you still going to praise it? Hmm? Don't get the million dollar lead church now. But he going to get the go. He going to get the go. going to make sure that he has Come on, don't, 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 don't steal God's go. That's right. And he don't share it with no man. But don't when God bless you, don't forget about the law. It's dangerous for you to forget about the law. Don't you know he gonna bless me? I ain't gonna say we. But he gonna bless me and the pastor. Do you think we'll forget about y'all? Mm. If we do it now, he gave us the heart to do it now. We cannot let the devil change his heart or towards you all. We still have to love you. Hallelujah. He blessed us to be a blessing to the ministry. If I got a major, I want you to have a double major. Come on, if I'm riding in a 2014, you can ride in a 2015. Come on here. Oh. It's went round the bend, I taste it. Come on. See, being a, being a pastor, we, we can't hesitate to follow Jesus. We got to follow him and do what's right. We got to, we got to suck this thing up and keep moving. And, and we got to keep moving in the law and see that when, Mr. Sure, you can sit down, I'm gonna call it first time. When, when, uh, when, uh, when, when, uh, that, uh, when the pastor is falling, when the shepherd is falling, Jesus, he is our shepherd. Jesus is the head shepherd and we follow him. The sheep supposed to follow us. We cannot lead these sheep to strength. We can't let these sheep see us do anything. Slipping over there in that corner taking a sip and I'm smoking a cigarette and, and I'm talking about the things that I used to do. Tipping over there on that casino. Playing, you know, playing the machine and all of this right here. Coming in on Sunday morning with a hangover. And you smelling that liquor on my breath. Come on, smoking. The 
smoke going to be in your skin. The drink is going to be, you're going to smell it in your pores. See, when you're walking for Jesus, we got to do what's right. Come on here. I can't lead you. Minister Shirley, I can't lead you. And I ain't straight myself. And my spouse ain't straight. You know what I'm saying? My spouse didn't doing any and everything. You see him out there with women, hoe chasing, and all that. So, it's like this right here. Brother Jeff, I'm going to sit down to God bring my spouse in now. I ain't going to get up here and try to tell you anything now. That what you doing, all right? And my spouse out there doing everything. Come on here. I'm going to sit down to God bring him in. Because God got a set time for all our life. Come on here. So I'm going to sit there in that chair. I know who I know who I am in Christ Jesus. But I'm going to sit there in that chair. I'm going to pray. I'm going to fast to God bring him in. And when God bring him in, then I can tell you something. Amen. I can tell you something. All right? Amen. See, first we have to get the moss out of our own eye. Come on here. For I come judge in your house. Come on. And my house ain't wrong according to God's word. Come on. I can't tell you anything. Set your tab down. To God get through with you. Then you can tell somebody. You can tell somebody. You know what I'm saying? I can't preach the word and teach y'all. Listen to me good. We live in the end time, and this is the instruction that God has given me to give to the church. I cannot teach you if this man ain't living right. Come on here, and y'all see him doing in and everything. I can't teach you. I got to sit there, endure to God, bringing me, because God have a set time. All right, I'm going to sit there. Now when he come in, hallelujah, when he come in, I'm still at home, I'm still at home preaching the word to my couch, to my kitchen sink. Come on here, God's still using me behind the mouth. All right, I ain't going to be constipated. Hallelujah. See, you got to order to know the spirit and what the spirit does and how it works. All right, I ain't gonna why he out there doing this and doing that. And 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 you know the first thing they'll say, Minister Sherrod, how can she tell me something? Look at her husband. You know that if you ain't there where you supposed to be in the Lord, you're gonna say, How can she tell me something? Look at her husband out there, whole shape, whole chasing those women. Look at him in the bar. He ain't come out the whiskey store, the liquor store with a bottle of liquor and all of that, all right? All right, until we, until God, I stand in the gap. See, this is what the Bible say. Husband can save the wife, and the wife can save the husband, all right? So I'm gonna stand in the gap for this man. This man got to come in, and I know the power of God, and I know what he can do. I was out there with him, running with him. All right, so if he brought me in, come on, baby, come on. Hey! We got to get this thing right. Hallelujah. Oh God, I can't tell you nothing about your relationship and mine ain't fixed up. Come on here, first I got to fix mine up and then I can tell you about yours. Come on. See, if we want to get in this thing too soon, you better know what you're doing when you jump. Come on here, when you jump in that thing that's too hot, you're going to jump back. If you ain't ready, you still wet behind the ears. You're not ready to jump in that fire. When you're ready, you can walk in in the fire. Won't touch it and won't break it. Come on here, Mr. Frank. You hear me, Mr. Frank? When you're ready. But when you're not ready, still wet behind the ear, and you jump in that fire, you're going to jump back because you ain't ready. Hmm? 
All right. Oh, God is good. Hallelujah. All right, what we answer, Sister Shirley, right now? We are part B in uh, verse 16. In, uh, okay, verse 16, okay. A pastor to follow thee, neither have I desire, what? The walk for day. Whoa! To the pastor. Whoa! To the pastor that scattered my sheep. We got to the Lord. How to hammer you. <laughs> Gently, like you hammer a newborn baby. Trust me. That's how pastors supposed to hammer the sheep. Because the sheep is so humble. Come on here. They so humble. They easy to be hurt. All right? See, you got to handle those sheep gently. You have to talk with them in love. All right? If that sheep don't mind, don't obey you, you know to go to the Father. Take that sheep up before the Father. And the Father will deal with the sheep. That's the reason that you got to keep yourself in a position with God. That when y'all disobey us, we know how to bring you up before God. Because I don't want to do anything out of the way. I'm going to pray for you, and I'm going to let God do the rest. Hallelujah. Know that. I'm not going to come say nothing out of the way. To stumble myself with God or to make you stumble. All right? I'm just going to pray. And I'm going to say, Lord, I'm going to say, this sheep are rebellious. This sheep don't want to mind, Father. I said, but Lord, I'm going to put it in your hand and you fix it. I'm going to keep over here like you want me, you require for me to do. To stand in the gap and in the seed for that sheep. Ha! God give us many strategies just like the enemy got. Because sometimes that you can speak the wrong thing. I don't want blood stain on my hand and I'm not going to allow the pastor to get out of touring and get the blood stain on his hand because I can't cover him now. He going to have to do what's right because he got to see Jesus himself. We all want. All right, he can tell me something, I can tell him something, but we both have to listen and come to a agreement. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, neither. Oh, go ahead, Minister Shirley. Says, Thou knowest that which came out of my lips was right before thee. That what? Mm -hmm. See that? That which came out of my lips before thee. We have to speak what's right. We can't speak what's wrong. We can't take from God's word and add us some stuff in there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We can't take from, we got to keep the word whole. As God is whole. Alright? We have to keep it like that. We can't water the word down just to soothe your flesh. Come on here! Come on! We can't water it down now to soothe your flush. Because if I water it down to soothe your flush, God gonna beat me down. Because I'm wrong. All right, leading you this way. That means that follow thee. All right? I got to follow Christ. I got I can't water God's word down to soothe your flush and soothe your flush. I can't do that. God will whoop me when he teaching me what's right. And I got to, I have to teach y'all what's right. All right? Oh, God. Mm-mm. Let me tell you something. Cause Pastor Robert and Pastor go. Pastor rise up in the flush. I rise up in the flush at one at at home. You know what I'm saying? So that's really the same. Chairs to start at home. And it's spreads the road. All right? I can't go around all day with him, pow, mouth stuck out in Long River, Missouri. I can ride on him, or he can ride on him. And 
going around through the house, I ain't speaking to him. He ain't speaking to me. Now, do you think God pleased or displeased? And we supposed to be leaders. He displeased. All right? Because if we continue to do that, stay in that mold, in that spirit that Lucifer now put us in that loop right there, yes. we'll bring that spirit to church. Yes. And y'all will start doing it. All right? So therefore, we got to make peace with one another before he leave out of that door. I'm the bigger person. I'm going to say, Pastor, forgive me. Yes. And before he leave out that door, he's going to say, Darling, forgive me. Yes. All right, we straight. Right. All right, we now repent. And, and God say, look at my chair, repent to one another. Yes. All right? Yes. And, and for you, I love you, Pastor. I love you too, darling. Say it again. I didn't hear you. <laughs> Bring it up. Yes. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right? So we have to teach one another before we can come here and teach y'all anything. All right, if I got an attitude, if I got an attitude in the, in, in the pulpit, y'all gonna have an attitude. Every time you see me, I got an attitude, spirit. So y'all gonna begin to have one. All right? So if the pastor has got an attitude over there, I got an attitude. Uh-huh, it can't work like that. We got to be on one accord. We got to come in God how fully equipped, praising God, giving God all the glory so y'all can do it too. Amen. Hallelujah, so y'all can do it too. All right? We are a family in the body of Christ. I don't care if it ain't but two here, I'm going to teach the word. I got to teach the word to you all. It's, uh, it's left up to y'all to obey the word yes. and be a here and doer to the word. Now, I'm doing what he's telling me to do. All right? I'm not going to water his word. I'm just going to tell you what he tells me. He speaks to me. He comes to me and he tells me. And it's going to be in the Bible, his word, what he tells me to release. All right? We have to do that and be obedient. All right here. Where I'm at now, Minister Shirley? Verse 17. Verse 17. What did it say? Be not a terror unto me. Thou art my hope in the day of evil. Oh, be not a terror unto me. There is my hope in the day of evil. We got hope. We got hope in these evil days, because first day, if you with Christ yes. and He live within you, yes. the first thing you gonna say, God got it. God got it. Yes. That's the first thing you gonna say, God ain't gonna let nothing happen to His children. Right. Huh? Right. God ain't gonna let nothing happen to His children. Because hope live within us. We got it so bold and so strong within us and got faith in God to believe that that tornado ain't going to hit Greenville. Uh -huh. That twist that ain't coming here. Come on. It's so much a hope that we have. We ain't got to be afraid of that storm. Because he said, I will give you peace in the midst of the storm. Yeah. Come on here. What did the disciples do when they was on the boat and the boat, the water was the, oh. They woke him up. They woke him up. Jesus was asleep. And the waves were turning. The boat was going side to side. Oh, they had fear in their heart. Jesus, why is that faith? Speak to the wind. Ooh, uh, Jesus. Uh, what we need to start doing, speak yeah. to our situation. Yeah. Speak to a prophesy to yourself. Uh, Don't wait till nobody give your prophecy. Right. Prophesy. Uh, yeah, yeah. I prophesy to myself every day. Yes. Uh, yeah. Tell that wind. Speak to the wind. When Jesus spoke to the wind, that wind leveled, that water leveled up. And the wind stood still. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, our Lord and Savior. God did not give us a mind of fear. Glory. 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 
Hallelujah. He said, A thousand will fall at your feet. Ten thousand will not come near you. Just speak the word, know you got the word within you. And when that word release at your mouth, power behind that word. Hallelujah. If you ever notice that, when somebody come to you and they, I have did it so many times. They are asking for prayer that, they are asking for prayer. They are coming to you, well, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be getting this job, would you pray for me? God say, speak the word, you already got it. Already done. Amen. 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 Already done. It's already done. And it's already done. You need to start giving God the praise. You need to start giving God the glory. Hallelujah, the glory. He, let me tell you something. We got hope in these evil days that already here, already here. The evil days is already here and you got hope in it. God going to keep me in this evil day. He going to keep us. He going to let nothing happen to us. He got us in his bosom. Where Jesus at in the bosom of the Father. And so if we ourselves connected to Jesus, where the John at? We there too. Yeah. That's right. We in the bosom too. God, we the John here of Jesus Christ. Got the same DNA. Hey! Yeah. But we in the bosom too. We in the bosom of the Father. Come on here. Yeah. Woo, God be the glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. God is good. God is great. We in the bosom too. Stay connected. Stay rooted where he plants you. Don't uproot yourself. Because what's coming? What's coming? Think about it. We in the bosom of, the, of God too. His son there, so is we. We connected, and we got a contract to fulfill. Oh, God be the glory. Hallelujah. I'm going to feel mass. Oh, God be the glory. I got to, ooh, Jesus. Hallelujah. I got to do what does say the Lord. Hallelujah. I told you, I told the pastor, I told the apostle, and she called me on yesterday. I said, look at here. Apostle, I don't have one dove. I got two doves. I got a double. He's oh my God, Elton, you got a double poach. I said, yes, I did. Praise the Lord. Have to have a double potion in this entire.